January and it's the first clear night we've had this year. So I've come out here to show you the stars because they're probably much brighter here than wherever you are. Just think, around any one of them there could be planets where people just like us live. Maybe they're looking out at us, thinking... You can't film the night sky properly on your phone, Lily. Don't interrupt, Kyle. But your followers won't be able to see the stars properly. They will, because this is the new phone I got for Christmas and it's a super-powered beast of a phone with a 13 megapixel camera. I still think you need specialist equipment It's to... my channel. I'll do what I like. Are you going to explain about the dark sky thing? <sighs> By the way, this is Kyle. He's a friend of mine. He's lived here five years. Five and a half. Uh, his dad's headmaster at the school and he teaches years seven, eight and nine. That's how small the island is. There's only 26 kids at our school. And... Uh... Oh, he built the whole island in Minecraft when he was ten years old, didn't you, Kyle? Yeah. Sorry if I embarrassed you by saying that. Why would I be embarrassed by that? Anyway, the Isle of Loon is what's called a dark sky community. And that sounds cool, but also sort of evil. But actually, what it is, is that in cities you get light pollution. Which is like street lights and billboards and car headlights and... There aren't any cars on the Isle of Loon anyway. Whose video is this? Sorry. Where was I? Yeah, car headlights. And like, office blocks with all the lights on. And it's not like this place was lit up like Las Vegas before. There's only about 300 people live here. But they cut down as much light as they could. And on the 1st of January, we officially became a dark sky community. So on a clear night like this, you can actually see hundreds of stars without a telescope or... Wait, is that a helicopter? Yeah. Is it the air ambulance? Dunno. Why don't you look through them new binoculars you got and find out? You mean the binoculars you said were a lame Christmas present? I didn't say that. I said they were... a bit... boring. Just have a look, would you? Uh, it's not the air ambulance. It's coming down. It's landing by the big house. The big house? Do you think that means someone's finally bought it? You're not meant to land helicopters there unless it's an emergency. It's a protected area. Why don't we go over and see Jasmine? Yeah, she's always hearing stuff from my mum. Maybe she knows something. And also, she got a switch for Christmas, and I've not had a go on it yet. Doors open. Okay. This is Jasmine. I've known her all my life. Don't do a video, I'm in my pyjamas. Her mum is the first person ever to be voted in as chief officer of the island. It used to be that the family who lived up at the big house did that job, but they're gone. So now we have a vote. So Jasmine knows stuff. I don't really know stuff. Did you hear the helicopter? It landed up at the big house. You heard anything from your mum about anyone buying the big house? Where is she? She's out work stuff. But it's Sunday. Oh, she's been rushed off her feet for the last couple of weeks. There's something on right now. I don't know. She says she can't talk about it. At least she's not on my case about playing games. Can we play? Yeah, but we've only got two controllers at the moment, so you'll have to take turns. You can have a go in a minute, Kyle. Yeah. Who else might know what the helicopter's about? Did you get a picture of it? I got it on video. Helicopters have all got a registration code on them. Go online and look it up. It'll tell you who it belongs to. What? Just on the internet for anyone to see? Yeah, search for helicopter registration. Oh yeah! It says G-Welk on it. W-E-L-K. That'll be it. Oh, you can look it up. There's a website. See, I told you Jazz knows stuff. W-E-L-K. Anyone can find this stuff out. It's just on the internet. Wow. It's got the make of the helicopter, when it was made, and it's got the name and the address of the owner. Daniel Wheeler. I know that name. He's a billionaire. Him and his wife, Claudia. Something to do with 3D printing. They invented 3D printing? No. It's the stuff they use in 3D printing. It's like metal, but it's eco-friendly. You can break it down and recycle it. 
Mata? That's it! M-A-T-T-A. I just looked it up. Never heard of it before. Might be a different Daniel Wheeler. There's got to be lots of Daniel Wheelers in the world. Yeah, but how many of them are rich enough to own a helicopter? You think he's bought the big house? Kyle, Lily, hello. You do know there's school in the morning? It's only eight o'clock, Mum. Is it? Well, that means I'm not late. Phew. Late for what? Boring stuff. Have you seen my iPad? I think Lily's sitting on it. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Lily. Jasmine, get yourself to bed good and early. You don't want to be tired for the first day of term. Bye. Wow. <laughs> she was here for like 30 seconds. Yeah, she's been like that since Christmas. So, do you think this has got anything to do with the fact a billionaire just landed his helicopter on the island? If not, it's a funny coincidence, isn't it? All right, settle down now. I've just been told half an hour ago we've got two new pupils starting with us this term. Their names are Vaughn. Say hello, Vaughn. Hello. And Madison. Do we call you Maddie? Yeah, I guess. And they've just moved to the island from London, which must take some getting used to, eh? Yeah. That's them. That's the billionaire's kids. They must have bought the big house. Something you'd like to share with the class, Jasmine? Lily? No, Mr Lambert. Yeah, actually. Your mum and dad are the billionaires, yeah? Lily, please. You asked if I wanted to share it and I did. Everyone thinks we're billionaires, we're not. Our net worth is only about 720 million. But your parents did invent this matter stuff though. I was going to let Kyle and Maddie introduce themselves rather than have you interrogate them, but... Mr Lambert, they're starting the announcement now. Already? I thought it wasn't until ten. Well, they've brought it forward. But something about China. I don't know. Right. You'll all want to watch this. Kyle, can you help me get YouTube up on the whiteboard? Yeah, yeah. What's this about? (sighs) Mum and Dad are going to build it. They said not to tell anyone. They're announcing it right now anyway. What's the difference? You need to turn up the volume. I thought the volume was up. No, the volume on the speakers, Dad. They're going to build a what? A launch pad for a space shuttle on your island. (laughs) Why are you laughing? Because it's a joke. Isn't it? Thanks, Carol. Have selected the Isle of Loon as the ideal base for our space programme. What? We're starting construction of the launch pad immediately, but that's not all. They can't do this. Kyle, shh! I'm listening. In return for giving our space programme a home, we want to give someone from the island an opportunity. One pupil from the school will get the chance to come with us on our first space flight. Thank you.